Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. India has recently acquired one regiment of S-400 surface-to-air missile defense system and deployed across the border close to India-Pakistan and will complete the acquisition of four more regiments of S-400 by 2023. The move has completely shifted the balance of air supremacy towards India. With the help of S-400, Indian Air Force will be able to look deep inside the airspace of Pakistan even without scrambling its fighter jets and AWOCs. The S-400 will further be integrated with DRDOs and Israel's radar to act as a force multiplier for Indian Air Force. This was a major strategic blow to Pakistan and China. The latter has already deployed S-400 close to air bases near LSE and supplied HQ-9B surface-to-air defense system to Pakistan which is a copy of Russian S-300 surface-to-air missile defense system. The effectiveness of Chinese HQ-9B is still questionable as a lot of issues have been reported last year regarding this system. In summary, Pakistan has no credible air defense system at the moment and is desperately looking for a credible defense or deterrence against the Indian S-400 to shift the balance of air superiority. Now, it has been reported by the week that China may sell Pakistan hypersonic weapon to counter S-400 system of India. This is again based on an article published in defensenews.com. In this article, Richard Fisher, a senior fellow at the International Assessment and Strategic Center in Alexandria, Virginia, has told it is very likely that to the degree that China has added North Korea's new hypersonic glide vehicle missile warhead, it has or will similarly assist a Pakistani HGV or simply sell the DF-17 or Beijing has now option of allowing North Korea to sell its HGV to Pakistan. So the origin of the news is neither Chinese or Pakistani media or any official statement and further it is a prediction. Pakistan is a double-edged sword. If China sells its most prized and lethal technology of hypersonic missiles, it will lose the strategic upper hand over Pakistan. There won't be any surprise if Pakistan will use this as a chip of bargain or even arm twisting against China. Pakistan is heavily burdened under debt from China. Therefore, if China gives this technology to Pakistan in behest of countering India, it might create challenge for India immediately but will have bigger implications on China in long run. In summary, it will be a major strategic blunder by China. But one cannot completely deny its possibility. India is the only power that is holding back and challenging China in Asia and Indo-Pacific region and at the same time checkmating the terrorism spread by Pakistan. The two neighboring countries of India have vested interest in destabilizing India via any means. Pakistan has already started its hypersonic project under the name P2A2 announced in October 2020 but no further information was revealed about it. We all know that even though S-400 is the best missile defense system, stopping a hypersonic missile can be challenging as it does not follow the classic parabolic trajectory of a ballistic missile and leaves very less time to respond. The unusual trajectory of hypersonic missile enables them to home into target from an altitude of 20 to 80 kilometers. At the same time, S-400 can detect ballistic missiles from an altitude of 60 kilometers. The Chinese DF-17 is a combination of Chinese short-range ballistic missile DF-16V and hypersonic glide vehicle DF-ZF. Instead of a normal warhead or MIRV of a conventional ballistic missile, DF-17 uses a hypersonic glide vehicle DF-ZF which follows a suppressed and lower altitude trajectory. This makes their detection even more difficult than MIRV warhead. However, it is also to be remembered that India also has very long range radars from Israel and developed by DRDO which will be working together 
with S400 in a robust integrated air command and control system IACCS which merges inputs from all available radar sources to build the big radar picture of airspace. India at present has two green prime radars from Israel capable of detecting targets at ranges of up to 500 kilometers and can track more than 30 targets at speed over 8.74 Mach. The Green Prime radar has a proven track record and has demonstrated in over 20 successful ballistic missile intercepts. DRDO has also developed an advanced version of Green Prime called Swordfish Long Range Tracking Radar LRTR capable of tracking missiles launches at 600 to 800 kilometers. DRDO has not stopped with the development of Swordfish but went ahead with Super Swordfish or a very long range tracking radar developed to track and intercept MIRV capable missiles. The Super Swordfish has a range of approximately 1500 kilometers. In phase one, Indian Air Force will be building four L-band long range tracking radar LRTR sites near Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh, near Jaipur, Rajasthan and yet to be identified site in Uttarakhand, all of which will be deployed along India's Western Air Defense Identification Zone. Construction activities are slated for completion by mid of 2023. Under Phase 2, three additional LRTR sites will be built with construction already commencing last year to cater for northern and northeastern portion of Indian Air Force Air Defense Identification Zone. This year, work will also commence on the construction of 12 L-band high power radar sites, 8 facing LSE and 4 for LOC. By now you would have understood that it's not just S-400 but India has already deployed several long range radars across Pakistan which can detect any missile launch. Though these radars are primarily built to detect ballistic and MIRB warheads, they can still detect a hypersonic warhead. But the major challenge will be in intercepting the hypersonic warheads. The Prithvi Air Defense and Prithvi Defense Vehicle interceptors developed as a part of BMD program can counter missiles with a range up to 200 km and speed between Mach 3 to Mach 8. While the interception of hypersonic missile is yet to be proven, India undoubtedly has enough radars deployed targeting Pakistan that can easily detect them. Since there is no way to detect if warhead is nuclear or non-nuclear, India might launch the counter-offensive ballistic missiles, which in case if happens to be nuclear, Pakistan will be completely wiped out from the map. Even if we assume Pakistan acquires a hypersonic technology, it won't use it against S-400, rather save it for much strategic deterrence. India has already deployed hypersonic missile Shore in October 2020. It has a reported range between 700 to 1900 kilometers. The missile can carry nuclear as well as conventional warhead varying from 250 kgs to 1 ton. The missile can reach the maximum speed of max 7.5 even at low altitudes. Back in November 2018, it crossed the speed of Mach 5 as it crossed a distance of 300 kilometers. What is unique about this missile is that after taking off and reaching a height of about 50 km, the missile starts flying like a hypersonic cruise missile. Once it reaches the target area, it maneuvers towards target before striking with an accuracy of 20 to 30 meters within the target area. Its hypersonic speed and maneuverability make it less vulnerable anti-missile defense system. To be precise, it will give adversaries radar only 400 seconds to detect, track and intercept before it hits the target. Apart from shore, India has four more hypersonic missiles under development including HSTDV, Brahmos 2, Rudram 3 and hypersonic glider called the HGV-20. To 
this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector